What happens? Don't I get a call? Mm -hmm. And? After like a week. And they let you know that you've been selected? Exactly. They, they told me I'm selected and all. I didn't know whether to get excited. I didn't know who to call. You get that? I didn't know who to, to share this with. So you weren't expecting it? I wasn't. Why would I be ex expecting it? I know, true. There were over 300 <laughs> There were so people, many people there. And there were so many cool people out there. Mm. Then as a bit of, <laughs> as a, like a, a mediocre, I didn't know who I was. You get it? You know? So with all those struggles, then someone is telling you, now you should be ready. Mm. Prepare yourself, do this. Mm -hmm. Next one thing led to the other. Mm -hmm. They're telling us, go to the South African High Commission, uh, bring your IDs and passports, here, here. and before you know it, I mean, I say, mm -hmm. psychological tests. Mm -hmm. More. Yeah, more. It's like psych tests. Then you meet the big guys, mm -hmm. the guys who run in the mall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then before you know it, the pack us back after two days okay yeah then they say wait because i don't think they choose one or two they must take like at a football team there's the second 11 mm -hmm. just in case one breaks a limb <laughs> you get it mm -hmm. so after that so they call me and i turn up in the house get through exactly okay at so that's point, my story <laughs> at that point people had very mixed reactions to mm -hmm. Big Brother Africa. Some people were like, you know, you know, you show everything, they mm. know everything about you. Shower hour. Shower hour, man. Yeah. Mm -mm. That's one of the reasons I couldn't <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Then some people are like, you know, it's an opportunity, it's a mm. platform that yeah. is going to just showcase you to the whole yeah. continent. Mm. Was that what it was for you? Did it well, work for you and open doors for you? Well, I... So let's first start with how long you were in the house. I was in the house for 71 days, mm -hmm. where the total days, number of days was 91 days. So I was there for 71 days. Okay. Yeah. But I, was, I survived there longer because I was head of house twice. Mm -hmm. So you see, you learn <laughs> strategies on how to stick your glue on a seat. I'm not going anywhere. You get it? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> the drama is intense. Yeah. Yeah. Christo, I can be having a meal with you, Ian. We are besties and we are hugging and, and we are gossiping. Go. You get it? Mm -hmm. Then. Me, who you think is your best friend? Yeah. When it comes to the diary room, you know you have to. That's when you see out. the people who are playing the game. And you know what's more scary? Because <laughs> when you're in the house, you can't see what you cannot we see. see. You can't even see the comments because if you saw the comments, you probably had just here and there. You could tweak and maybe play pretend and be a nice person. You mm -hmm. get it? Mm -hmm. But you can't. You're just all by yourself. Yeah. Then there are kids here from different continents. Who are trying to be? <laughs> there are my guys from Nigeria who are so loud. So loud then there's so Mimi strong. from Ghana who is a clean guy. <laughs> then there's Tawana from. Oh God! It's it's. So when you got there, did you first think like, what is this? The first time. Okay, first of all, you go for a week. Okay, some go for two weeks. You stay in a hotel. Mm. They orient you like orientation mm -hmm. on how to keep up how to conduct yourself, mm -hmm. how to behave, you get it? Because this is a brand. Yeah. Endemo is a brand. Big Brother is a brand. Yes, so yes. the things that you do, of course, get back to them. Yeah, so we'll they school you. Exactly. So you meet the media in there. You go to radio stations. So the, it's the, actually, that's where the advantages are. Mm -hmm. It's not just about being popular or anything. You pick up on, like a human being. Mm -hmm. If you want to be like a fool, you know, like a well, well-developed, well-developed human, well-groomed, well -groomed, <laughs> polished human. Mm -hmm. You have to meet people from different walks of life. Yeah. So to answer the other question that you're going to ask me mm -hmm. is, those are some of the things that I learned, things I never knew. You get it, but because half the time, I would keep so much to myself. Mm. And you see, when you're always to yourself, mm. you don't really yeah. get to learn so much. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. coming out of Big Brother. Yes. Coming out of Big Brother, first of all, Christo, I was teased as, is it, a, is it called a hoax? As hoaxed? Mm -hmm. Like they brought me out the first week. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, man! And you oh, thought you were God. done and then... I almost di actually died <laughs> halfway to the stage. Hmm? By then, uh, the host for Big Brother was, so was Cabello. Mm -hmm. Remember Cabello, mm -hmm. the guy who had cornrows? Yes, I remember. I almost died. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I almost died. But somehow they took me back in the house. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it happened because mm -hmm. I knew I was the first to do it, to leave. So then I survived 71 days, mm. playing a bit of pretend here and there. Mm -hmm. You see, they always say that when you're in Big Brother, try to be yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you 
even in life, you can't be yourself. Ah, man, all those cameras. You just cannot. You don't see them incidentally. No, you don't. But yes. I mean, it's just the fact that people are watching mm. you. But being every... a cameraman, I knew that where I sleep, there's a camera above my head. When I go to shower, you there could are hear cameras. It? No, you can't. You so just you see the red dots. In your dots. mind, you just kind of mute. You just see the red dots. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. It's like mm. someone filming you in the dark. Mm -hmm. You just see the red dots. Mm. You just know so someone is all up in your business. Yeah, so that consciously registered in my head and mm. I just had to move on. Has that affected you since then? Are you conscious of yourself and what you do when you're in public? Actually, for, uh, <clears throat> for where I am, I try to be conscious. Mm. I try to groom myself. I try to be, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. You can't just let loose in a city like this. People will be chasing after you like foxes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you yeah. friends with any of the other contestants? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Uti no Achuku, uh, the guy of Jara. Is it Jara from DSTV uh, Nigeria? Then mm -hmm. Mimi Abundani. Mm -hmm. She hosts the Golden Global Awards for movies. She's a movie maker with her husband. When you left, had mm. it opened doors for you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I'm here. At <laughs> one door down. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> no, anyway, seriously, I left Uganda to mm. go for Big Brother mm. when I had like ten, my tentacles almost in the media. Mm -hmm. You see the things I told you I used to do at university? Yes. I stuck with them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's start with uh, Sleeve Your Worry, mm -hmm. the modeling yes. you know, gigs. Yeah. I didn't stop there. Mm -hmm. I started to do my own agency. And you see in the agency business, you must have your mind almost on everything. Mm. Yeah, a little bit of marketing, a little bit of casting, a little bit of copyright, mm -hmm. school, you get it. Mm -hmm. So that, I have really been firm founded mm -hmm. because of, you know, the things that I've gone through, that is Big Brother. Okay, and you what get you it. learned then. And what I've learned. Mm. Then every time I try to do work, mm -hmm. I try to make it as, like, as impeccable as possible as neat as possible because I have that thing in me that I'm being judged. Uh -huh. Yes, either by clients or by friends or by family. Mm. So it's just a natural thing. I feel like some, some NASA thing <laughs> is hanging up. So it stays with you. It stays You're with conscious. you. Yeah, yes. unless you lose it and you, maybe you don't care. Mm. It's like getting into a bar, you're having friends. Then you drink yourself silly mm. and you drop down and lose your pants. Well, <clears throat> I wouldn't cross that line. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I you said you started your own agency? Did yeah. You? Okay. More ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more ideas. I've been working for over six years now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a few clients here in the pocket. Okay. And I thank God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So when did the filmmaking start? Filmmaking, remember I did film in university. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you see with film, it's a very expensive. I it's know. It's a very expensive. Passion. Exactly. <laughs> it's harsh. Mm -hmm. Then it's harsh on you. Yeah. You get it so harsh on you. Uh, you cannot produce film unless you have money. Mm. You get it. I think I'll tell you, film is the, the most expensive art form. Not just in finances, but even after, when you're done with the film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the part of marketing. Yes. And you know how film is in Uganda. Mm -hmm. People harsh. say the industry is growing. It People is. Have spoken I like to, the words. Like there are more opportunities now, mm. more platforms for at least Ugandan content yes. to be showcased. Yes. Is that something that you've tapped mm -hmm. into? Well, I haven't been able to tap into that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hopefully this film that I've shot mm -hmm. will change, you know. Okay. Yeah, for me, things for me. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you can take us through what you've worked on. Um, I have worked on a film called Stain. Mm -hmm. uh, stain, stain, like the word. Stain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wrote it eight months ago. Uh, it's just one of those films that I've written and shot, mm -hmm. you get it. Mm -hmm. um, it's about a girl who is 27 years, yeah, who had a baby somewhere out, then moved into a relationship to another place with an older man. Okay. Yeah. So uh, my film usually centers a lot on gender-based violence and social injustices. Okay. Yes. Why did you focus on that? Well, <clears throat> that is my first feature film. Mm -hmm. I had, had, you know, Because you've had other short projects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've had shorter projects and I've written more longer feature films. Eh? Uh -huh. So I chose on that one, first of all, my mind, push, my mind pushed me to, 
you get it because it's like how you choose you won't go picky picky ponky you won't mm. do that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you just feel this film mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You it's, feel it's ripe the drive it's ripe for the time even the timing okay the mm -hmm. time the people the things you have seen because mm -hmm. like i told you i grew up in the barracks yeah. so you can already imagine the kinds of people who live in the barracks mm. yeah I had so you did see violence? Yes, I did. I did mm. see a lot of it. Oh, yeah, because yeah, you see the, the Marwa, you know Marwa, the local group? Mm -hmm. Marwa drinking communities. Those are one of the most prominent thing features that you cannot miss to see. Okay. Yes, okay. you mm -hmm. cannot miss to see. So you see all this stuff happening. And remember as a child, when you see things, they never go. No, they Christo. don't. I, I don't know how people will, you know, really understand this. Even for our own children, yes. what they experience, mm. it stays with them. Yes, exactly. Mm. So all those things keep coming. Mm. And they say a, a writer or an actor or an artist sheds his sickness on paper. You've heard that statement before. Christo, what you have in your head mm. is what you're going to coin. Or what you have in your mind is what you're going to speak. You are what you say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get it. So all these things in my head just kept coming back. And I said, why don't I go ahead and do what? Shoot this film. Mm -hmm. So I looked here and there, picked up a bit of my savings here and there, spoke to a team. Mm -hmm. Of course, that was, you know, Later. it took some time yes. to do what Because I'm sure there was a lot of research involved. Yeah, to assemble. Yes, now that's, that's the, that's the um, pre-production. That mm -hmm. happens in pre-production where you go do research, mm -hmm. go ask for permission, go to the police. There's so many entail, things entailed in there. Okay. Licenses. You cannot just yes. roll camera. That's a part people don't exactly. know. Exactly. <laughs> well, being in the industry and being lucky to have been a scholar of film, I put all those things into consideration. Mm -hmm. You get it. Yeah. Then, uh, but you, you said that the movie is based on a 27-year-old single mother who yes. gets into a relationship exactly. with an older with man. Exactly. With an Where older man. Where is it set? Man.